Oi friends, Rainiers, today we will be playing Ninja Tycoon on Roblox. I'll be showing you guys the easiest method to defeat any boss in the game. Now this is if you guys are not using Robux. If you guys are using Robux for uh, modes such as like Baron mode or Sage of the Sixth Path, you guys don't need this at all because let's be honest, you guys spam a few of those skills, you guys will destroy the boss pretty easily. So this is for those who are not using Robux at all. Um, this is a pretty easy method and it's good for PvP as well. So let's just hop right into it. Okay, so when you guys first load in, just like any other tycoon, you guys need to find a base. Uh, just get any base that you guys can find or want, it does not matter. Yes, there are, each base has their own unique skill that you guys can get later on because this base skill is different from this base, but it won't matter because you guys won't be using it at all. So go into base, get any base you guys can find. Unfortunately, this base has zero dollars, but some base has more money than others. So that's a good thing if you guys can find one because it will give you a head start on the droppers. If not, you guys will have to manually do this as I am clicking right now. And it's pretty tedious, but once you guys get your first dropper going, it gets a lot faster. And you guys will only want to focus on your droppers and nothing else, okay? Everything here is really insignificant unless you guys want it for appearance and, you know, just, just aesthetic reasons. But most of the time, you guys don't need it at all. Now, we're going to get our first dropper going. Now, there we have it. Oh my god, we're missing a dollar. There we go. Now, we have our first dropper. Now, I'll be back once I finish and get every single dropper. Okay, guys, we are back. Now, we finished all of our droppers and we went AFK or, you know, do whatever we do. Now, now we have 129,000 cash ready. Now, that's a good thing. We can purchase a bunch of skills with this money, but we are focusing on two important skills that we need for this method okay so first let's collect the cash and let's go to shop right away and the first skill that you guys will need is multi shadow clone jutsu it's this one with the six uh well dummies right there so it's 50,000 that's the first one you need it's very central that you guys get it then the next one is susano rib cage now i'll explain that in a second now your third skill can be your skill of choice it does not matter um something preferably like high damage or something with fast cooldown that you guys can spam um for the purpose of this video i'm going to get blaze control because i like that skill a lot so now we have three skill right here multi shadow clone jutsu susano rib cage and there's my <laughs> nephew falling off the cliff um uh, multi what the multi shadow clone jutsu susano rib cage and blaze control now this can destroy any boss pretty easily so this is the order you, that you guys want to do first you guys want to use your skill of choice and then you guys want to use Susano Rib Cage to become invincible. Then quickly do Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. The reason for this is because your character, um, your Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, they will also have the Susano Rib Cage, making them invincible as well and just taking down the boss so fast. So let's test it out, okay? Let's go to Pain right here. Let's get Blaze Control, hit him with the bl Blaze Control right there. We're gonna use the. Oops, I messed that up. <clears throat> mm. That's awkward. Okay, so let's try that again. So first off, we're gonna use uh, Blaze Control, and then we're gonna use Susano Rib Cage, and then a bunch of Multi Shadow Clone. Now he cannot destroy these Shadow Clones. Uh, the other Shadow Clones that he can destroy, but he just can't do it with this Shadow Clone. So there we go, we destroy Pain, easy, lemon squeezy right there. So yeah. So that's really good because, you know, your Shadow Clone dies in one hit, but with the Susano Rib Cage, it makes them invincible and just like bodies the boss right there. So blaze control right there, Susano Rib Cage. We go up to the uh, boss right there and we just spam the, you know, the multi shadow clone. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, he is destroying me. But this works most of the time. Um, I mean, it works on the waterfall boss as well. You just got to be careful with them. Um, other than that, it just takes a bit. It still takes a long time for the waterfall boss. It's preferable that you have people helping you, but this is a nice method to go with so you guys don't die constantly over and over. But yeah, that is all there is to it. Just, you know, spam your skill of choice first, and then you guys are gonna use Susano Rib Cage and then Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, and that's it. That's the basics of it. Now, there's probably better skills out there than Blaze Control, probably like, I don't know, Dragon Flame Jutsu or something. See. Kaguya is a goner right there. So that is it for the video, guys. I hope, oh my god, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you guys, 
Wow, Kaguya just bodied me right there. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you guys really need. Just three simple skills. Now this works really well for a PvP as well because Susano Ribcage is so good of a skill because no matter what skill they throw at you, you will not take damage from it. The only downside is that it does not last that long, but you know, for what it is, it's still really good. So for any boss, you know, just use your skill of choice, Susano Rib Cage, and then Multi Shadow Clone Chutsu, then rinse and repeat until the boss is defeated. So that's pretty easy, right? But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, remember to leave that like, do subscribe if you guys have not already, and hopefully this has helped you guys out, and I will see you guys all next time.